hey all of you hope you guys are great so in this video we're going to fix this error almost everyone are facing the same error and many of you have written this error in the discord server or in my personal email so i thought let's make a dedicated video to talk about this particular error and how and how you can solve this one so to solve this one what we have to do simply go back to the code and here i have opened the project and we have to get back to the context and in that we have this context nft marketplace so if you notice the error the error is happening in our fetch nfts oh okay so this is the function we have in the smart contract which fetch the nfts okay so that's the function we have here in the context so let me close this one transfer ether so this is the function we have fetch nft okay and this error is happening because when we are opening the application in our browser at that point of time we are not connected with the contract our application is not connected with our metamask wallet and we are trying to call the function which is inside the smart contract but you guys know that if you want to call any function in the smart contract first you have to connect the wallet and then only you can able to call the function because we have used web3 model for connecting the wallet and then we are checking and running the function which we have in the smart contract so here what i have done this is the fetch nft function we have which allow us to fetch all the nft from the smart contract so before we call this function what i'm doing i'm checking for account so if we have account only then we have to call this function okay so here i've taken the if statement i'm saying that if we have an account then we have to call all this function so to call and get all the nft from the smart contract we have to connect the wallet because we are using web3 model okay so make sure you add this check if check if the account exists then only call the all the function which you have in the smart contract which you are trying to call whenever the someone visit the application or reload the, so whatever wherever you are calling the function so here you can see here i have also done the same thing fetch my nft or listed nft where we are trying to find the individuals nft i'm checking for an account then i'm calling this function okay so wherever you are calling this function make sure you have to wrap this function inside a if statement which check the for the account and if we come back to the index page index page uh, let me go back to the index page and here you can see in the home page we have to also check before we call this function if account exists then only we want to call this function otherwise we don't want to call it okay so if you apply this if statement and check for an account then you can call the function you won't have this problem and now let's come to the main thing so the moment you got this problems have you sit and have you thought that why this problem is happening so coding is not about writing huge lines of code okay that's only 10 percent but the real one like if you want to be a good developer it's all about thinking try to find out that why that error is happening okay in that way you can able to become a good developer so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind whenever you try to write code try to think that what that code is doing and why the code is doing in that way okay and try to find out the possible solution of writing the same code in that way you can easily able to learn faster you can easily able to retain information in your head and you can use in different project okay because that's the very small bug i believe that many could many of you had already fixed this issue so the only thing i want to highlight here just try to think that why we have written the code in that way what are the other possible way you can take to get the same result okay there is a lot of thing I can highlight in this code that you can optimize for the higher performance. There is a lot of thing. The room is open. So it's always you have to think, analyze the code before you write. Okay. Just watch the video, open the video, watch it. Whatever I'm explaining, watch that, pause the video and try to understand that he's telling in this way. But is there any way to get the same result? That should be your approach if you really want to learn okay so think think again i'm telling you think because if you think then you can be a good to be honest with all of you we in today's time spend very little time in thinking okay so make sure you have to think a lot okay whenever you get any problem see any code just try to analyze that one analyze that one that why it's happening he is calling this function in this way this is the smart contract what other way i can include to get the same result how i can try to hack it okay so whatever tr contract i have written try to try to manipulate that from different ways you can do it if you try to analyze that one as well okay so that's the only thing i want to cover whenever you get any error try to set it down and try to analyze the code watch my explanation then try to think that why it's happening and come up with your own solution okay when it's come to a writing a simple code okay that's good but when you're building a logic 
on that time you have to watch the logic and you have to come up with your own logic if you do that trust me if you do that just for one month or if you do that in this complete project when we build a smart contract when we build the front end when we connected the smart contract when we adding this additional functionality if you do that then definitely you can be better developer and you can able to return a lot of things because sometimes what happened that you watch a tutorial build an application and when you're going to build another application you forget everything okay and that's happened because you are not coming with your own solution so try to come up with your own solution and that's the only thing i want to cover i hope you guys have understood that how you can plan whenever you try to build an applications what should be your thought process how you have to think when it's when you're having any kind of issues and one more i want to highlight here is that we're going to add a lot of functions here okay so we have already added the fund transfer function in our nft marketplace so we're going to add a coin okay so we're going to create a erc20 tokens and will allow user to buy token sell token and trade token okay so these are the functionality we're going to add in our nft marketplace okay so definitely a video will come very soon where we're going to add the erc20 token so user can give nft and they can buy the token and we're going to create an ico or a fundraising all this functionality we're going to add we're going to provide every single thing exists in the blockchains that's all feature we're going to provide in this application so i believe that once you complete this entire project you will learn about everything okay if you want that if you want to learn that how to build an automatic chatbot so do let me know that's also we're going to apply here you must have seen that when you visit an applications you get a chatbot where you ask few questions and it, you got a reply back if you want we're going to apply, apply the same kind of functionality as a chatbot in our nft marketplace and where the in, entire interaction will happen with the smart contract okay so do let me know if you guys really are interested in having those features so i'll try to include that okay so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section and make sure to subscribe and like that will motivate me a lot to come up with this project and to make it to something big okay so hope you guys are having a great day that's the only thing i want to cover see you next see you in the next video